sold for 10 million pounds. Oh, oh wow, that's oh. crazy. The mere mention of Pendle Hill conjures up images of mystery, magic, and of course, the world's most famous witches. I mean, holding hands and arm on camera, I'm bleeding. Wait, what? what? I felt something here, and it did this. There is a red mark right there. There's a witch called Gandag, and she used to come here and feed her dog. It would drink blood from her armpit, and she used to summon the bell of her. I was nervous in that now there might be a killer out here on top of all of this. Can you describe what's around you? How does it look? How does it feel? Black bone. A number of people in this community, most of them women, were left swinging from the gallows as a large crowd gathered to watch their final excruciating moment. Their alleged crime was witchcraft. You have instructed us to go all the way to the church just with the eye of God. <laughs> Has that ever happened before? No, that's why it's in the box. This is the same one we had last time. We've been before. Are you here? Do you know what it is exactly that you're hiding from? Can you confirm that's what you need? An offer of someone's soul? Welcome to, welcome back to the Overnight Channel. We are in a very familiar place if you've been watching this channel long enough. We're back at Pendle Hill, and this is the quarry known for having satanic rituals, dark magic, centuries, centuries ago. On our first visit here, Dan and I, we stayed because we offered our soul to the devil, in which we got an immediate deal made. So we decided to come back not only to here, but to Pendle Hill itself, to new areas, work with essentially a coven of witches to create a seance, create a bond. Jerry broke down crying. We also got a request to head over to the cemetery, which we did, and more and more different forms of contact. But I'm very glad to be here. And I think you're gonna enjoy this video quite, quite a lot. Welcome back, Dan. Thank yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dan is only talking like that because this man's an absolute lunatic yeah. and had extreme, extreme surgery done yesterday <laughs> and is still here when anyone else would be dead asleep for the next three months. It's insane. He dude. has the best excuse I mean, ever. I got good painkillers. So that's, that's why. So don't, don't make fun of him. Okay? Like, yeah, don't. If anything, God. you should do the opposite. You should, you should make compliments of him and tell him how good he looks with his swollen cheeks. Yeah, you should let him yeah. make fun of you. Trip yeah, him. actually, you should. Yeah. yeah, anything you say to Dan, you're saying about yourself. Comment below and so let him roast you So people like, I hate you, I hate you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a crazy call to action. Comment below what you hate about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that most viewed video with the engagement through the roof. <laughs> people start bonding with each other, like, you also don't like your middle tooth? <laughs> really? <laughs> you also have an enlarged pinky toe? Tonight will be another first in the Overnight Channel's history. We will be working with a coven of witches, tasked with doing whatever they deem necessary to connect with all of the spirits and dark energy throughout the entire Pendle Hill area, which is home to the Pendle Hill Witch Trials. 1612 are some of the darkest and most terrifying events in English history, yet the past has not stayed there, and the need for vengeance is stronger than ever, seemingly gaining more power and evil with every passing century. In the shadow of Pendle Hill, 12 people were accused to practicing witchcraft, leading to the brutal and public execution of 10, mostly women, after a trial filled with paranoia and superstition. The center were two rival matriarchs, Old Demdike and Old Chattox, who allegedly led dark rituals and plotted evil deeds. Their families, along with others, were swept up in the accusations, with Alizon Device confessing to cursing a peddler and igniting a witch hunt that consumed the entire region. Malkin Tower, Old Demdike's crumbling home, was said to be the site of a witch's Sabbath, where conspiracies to blow up Lancaster Castle and free imprisonment and witches took place. The surrounding forests of Pendle Hill became feared as hotspots for satanic rituals, with locals claiming the witches summoned spirits and cast curses that plagued the land for generations. The trials themselves were a spectacle of fear, with nine-year-old Janet Device shockingly testifying against her own family, ensuring their death sentences. These confessions, likely forced, sealed their fate in a trial where the evidence was as thin as mist over Pendle Hill. The entirety of the story is told to us by Simon and Twist during an hour-long, incredible narration and performance of this horrific mark in world history. You can see it all, as well as the extended version of this night's investigation on patreon.com slash TFIL. The entire area
area of Pendle Hill is now infamous for its hauntings. Whether it's forests, graveyards, hotels, streets, or parks, nothing is safe. Yet tonight, we will be focusing on the most active and demonic areas. The forest, the graveyard, and the quarry known to be the site of dark rituals. Visitors to the area often report seeing the ghosts of the witches, including the tortured spirit of Janet Device roaming the hill at night. Paranormal investigators have claimed to witness poltergeist activity, strange voices, and dark rituals still playing out in the wind. The Eye of God window in New Church and Pendle's Church is said to have been placed to protect the town from the curse cast by the witches before their death. Pendle Hill is now considered one of England's most haunted places due to the curse of the witches, their alleged satanic rituals, and the grim executions they endured. Pendle Hill's legacy as a terrifying chapter in history is only confirmed by the experiences we encountered tonight. Okay, just for the record, I actually have no idea what they have planned, but we gave them full permission to do anything yeah. they want. <laughs> Wait, I don't know where we're going. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did we pass this? <laughs> How did that happen? Wait, what? <laughs> so before we go any further, we need to have a blessing. Okay. Oh, so okay. get in a wee bit. Okay. Close your eyes. And just take a minute to breathe. Just take that little minute to relax. Breathe, whatever way you want, whatever's easiest for you. Great spirit, earth, sky, fire and water. We ask for protection around this circle and for anyone just outside the circle. We send out respect and thanks to the people who have walked this road before us. Their road wasn't as easy as ours and it didn't have a happy ending. Now as we have asked for protection I want you to see a light going all around yourself. Deep in your mind really see that light, see it, feel it, really see it, be aware of that light and as it totally surrounds you that is your light of protection bringing it all around you and your mind sending out thanks for the night ahead of us so more to be thank you so what is the spot that we're going to so this is the path between Bali and roughly that the pendle witches were brought down i don't know it just feels like the energy changes when we get to that spot yeah. take a five foot drop so it's a bit smaller down there. Okay. Oh, here we go. Well, right, this is what you wanted to... Yeah. yeah. It's only like right here. Doop, doop. Oh, those are loose. Fair warning, those are all very loose. <laughs> are we going to start a fire? Are we? So this is important. No men allowed. So we can be around but not in the circle. Yeah. So these women would have been walked in every state closer to Lancaster that they got. They knew it wasn't just a step closer to death. They knew that they would die. Very, very few women that were accused of witchcraft that survived. Uh, life was very unfair. If they didn't admit that they were a witch, they would have been tortured. But the general consensus was that women didn't matter. So nothing will, nothing will happen to you. If anything's going to happen, it would be outside the circle. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing it sucks to be you right now. <laughs> so we're going to ask their spirits to come close round about us. Be aware of their spirits. Be aware of the earth beneath your feet. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Be aware of the trees that surround you. And as the air element comes in, we're asking the air spirits to join us here tonight. You can hear the air going through the trees. Be very aware, take your mind to the air going through the trees, take your mind there. And as we call in the fire spirits and ask them to join us tonight, be aware of the heat from the fire that we stand around, keeping us warm. We can hear that fire crackling. We can smell the smoke from the fire. 
And as we call in the water spirits to join us tonight, be aware of that rain that is still falling. Feel those tiny droplets coming down. Feel them. Feel them on your skin. We also call on the women who walk these lands before us. We call in the energies from these women who walk these lands. Be aware of our ancestors, our sisters, from all around the world, every country. And tonight we pay respect to these women as the air, air, fire and water come together. We pay respect to these women. We send out healing to these women who have walked these lands before us. And we ask if, the, if any of them are round about tonight, we ask them to join us in our journey tonight. We ask them to join us. We feel safe in their presence. They are sisters. We feel safe with them round us. We ask them to whip up the wind, to whip up the rain, to send heat from the fire. And to keep the ground below us secure, we ask for that tonight. Send everything that you've got, harness that energy and send it out. Send it into the fire, allowing that to go up into the trees. Send it out. And as we are coming together in this sealed circle, we are aware of who we are. We are women. We are women. Louder. We are, we are women. women. We are warriors. We are warriors. We stand in our own right. We stand in our own right. And we will fight for every woman, past, present, and future. We will fight for every woman, past, present, and future. So we ask them to make themselves known in whatever way they can. Now, did you want to do a seance? I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. only if you want us to be, Barbara. Oh. <laughs> 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 I mean, it'd be like cool, this... you know. <laughs> so left out. Tonight yeah. was about the women. And that's why the men couldn't come into the circle. Under understood. Welcome, come on welcome. in. <laughs> it was strange because yeah. all the uh, animals started kicking up a foot. Yeah, yeah. that's where And then the wind picked up. The wind yeah. yeah. picked up. In the rain, yes. I just wanted to say when you get one woman <laughs> doing that, um, you can, a woman can feel it, a man can feel it as well. Don't think women are better than men. Um, but a woman can feel it. <laughs> but when you get a group of women doing it, it builds up the energy. How did you feel? I felt very calm and light, but I also felt my heart beating so hard. Well, so, that, yeah. so like I could feel it through my vest almost. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Now, are we all touching? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we're touching. We're all touching. So there's nobody not touching. Are you two touching each they other? They are. They, <laughs> they always are. <laughs> they can't stop. <laughs> Sisters, come close to us. Come close to us. Whip up the fire, whip up the trees. Come close, let us know you're here. Don't calm it down. Come close and whip everything up. Is that you up there on the path? Thank you. Come down here and sit with us. Thank you for letting us be in the circle and be here tonight. The men and the Americans, all of us combined, only come here with respect and interest to hear more of your story or anything else that you'd like to share. I can feel you behind me. Don't be scared. Come closer. Join us. 
We're here to listen. Thank you for letting me join and welcoming you tonight with your sisters. Very eager to hear more from you and learn more. There's just someone walking in the woods. I can hear you back there. I can feel two of you here. One down in the woods. Thank you for coming. There's one up on the path. What did you feel? I heard something. I heard like a grunt. Yeah. yeah. Restriction? Yeah, I don't know. I hear. I keep hearing something. Yeah. 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 There's definitely some. Are you all right, Jerry? Yeah, um, yeah. On, on the right side, right ear, here. Yeah. It was like I, I keep squeezing your hand. It's, I felt I felt something on my ear here, and it was like a. Right. So I asked them to do, you know, come closer to do it to you and others. Ask them to come close to you, speak to me. You could come closer to us. Don't be afraid. We're not here to hurt you. Not here to harm you. Came all the way from the States to hear from you. We want to hear about you. Please don't be scared to come closer. Join us. You seem to be um, quite receptive to Jerry. You do. There's a lot of changes in Jerry. Yeah. His presence down there mm. coming a bit closer and something on the path up there behind you as well. Mm. I think um, yeah, it might be an walk. idea to... to Maybe a bit further down with the dowsing rod. Oh, hilarious! Yes. So that's actually yeah. what she just said. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the dowsing rod. Would you be okay <laughs> with that, Jerry? Uh, sure, you can let go. We all we, we all let go. Jerry, <laughs> 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 <He's laughs> like, like, we've like, all let go. Yeah. I haven't moved at all. I'm holding hands and arm on camera. Uh -huh. I'm bleeding. Wait, what? what? Oh, he's been scratched. Uh, I told you the fey were naughty. <sighs> When did that happen? Yeah. How long have you been yeah. he hasn't Sometime within like the past two minutes. Jonah Panda's late over and I just noticed that there was a scratch there. So you didn't even feel it? No. Whoa. Like I did a double take at it because literally I'm sitting here not moving. I'm so not, me and Jonah were tech, like I was still holding on to him, but I guess that was the only break exactly. in the circle yeah. was between the two of them where Evan's hand is. And that's why is. it's always important when you've got a circle, it's literally holding... When, when you feel it, when we hold hands, we become one, don't we? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just that one continuous, unbroken circle. Can you start hogging up all the spirits? I, it'd be cool if like the rest of us could investigate some nights, you know? You, so we gotta like, keep, I want to. Oh, last time we had to babysit <laughs> you and your little headache <laughs> and your tummy hurt and got all the attention, huh? I, didn't and now look. Always trying to steal the spot. Now you get a one-on-one -on -one date in the woods with the witch. You think I'm We don't get to go. Well, don't forget I mean, to be a witch. I, I, I love this might to be be some bad. No, I think someone's going yeah. with them. Yeah, Am no, I no, doing no. it alone? Oh, you're going. Oh, I'm going oh. alone. Yes. Oh, with the camera guy though. With the one that's bleeding. <laughs> Why is it always me? I'm not sure who was behind me. I, I, I felt a whisper, I felt someone talking. I'm walking towards a direction I'm not even sure that you're around. Are you are you in front of me? Should I be walking towards this direction? Okay. That's 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 a yes. Right. Am I am I the only one that you whispered to?
Guys. Do I have to go far? You're yeah, you're so it. close that I can see the dowsing rods crossed or not. <laughs> Is there something about me that reminds you of somebody? Why is it that Why is it that I'm the only one you whispered to? Do you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like Walker. <laughs> Told you you're too close. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Why? I literally got Evan too. They heard my footstep and Evan goes, I think that's what oh. Is that in thorough? Yeah, too? I got it in thorough. Yeah, I got it too. I got caught four K and thorough. <laughs> Are you still here with us? Okay. Your story is famous. Everybody knows about your story. Do you like that people come here to hear about the story, to learn about you? Do you like that people come here to try to talk to you. Oh. I really want to talk to you more. Whoever you are, can you please point us to the direction of where you are so I could be more connected to you and be able to hear you? That way? It looks almost straight in front of you. Okay. Okay. We'll s we'll make our way there towards this way. Yeah. Wait, we have thermal. What the? What? Yeah. What? I wasn't nervous enough. Now there might be a killer out here. <laughs> on top of all of this. Lovely. Let me know that you're still here so we could really dive in on how I can connect with y'all. Whoever's here, oh, you're, I hear you. I hear you next to me. The right ear is buzzing. Are you here? That was the most firm answer we've gotten in a while. I'm here and I'm open. What the heck? What? It literally, when I asked, are you sad? I felt something here. And then I asked, are you confused? And it did this to the back of my neck. 
Like a whole hand, like like literally, the... like a literally like this. Is there anything in the back of my neck? Any marks? There might be a slight red mark right here, but nothing, nothing huge that really stands out. But oh, for sure, there is a red mark right there. We brought out a different way for you to be able to communicate with us. We're hoping this will make it easier for you to be able to push forward specific words, sentences, or even sounds. I'm hiding. You can stay hiding. Because obviously you can hear us and you can talk to us. So wherever you feel comfortable being in this this forest or I'm even on my way. Are you coming alone? Or are there others with you? More. Are the others coming? Are they human? Are they spirits? Or are they something different? Really demonic laugh. Thirteen of us. Whoa. It's just gone off. But it's like a buzzing sound. It's off? Yeah. It sounds like static. The last thing it said is 13 of and then it just went off. Has that ever happened before? No. That's why it's in the box, like make sure there's no way for yeah, it to... Yeah, it's like tight in there. So no one can touch a button. It was weird, I heard like a malfunction, like blip. Really? It was like... You Everything you said was making sense too. Really? Yeah, like to the T. It was odd. Yeah, Got it back on. Just restarted it. Was that you that just touched my neck? It's okay that you brush your hands on my neck. It's okay if you tuck my shirt. It's okay if you touch me. It's fine. I'm not here to harm you. I'm only here to talk to you. Again, you can use me as your energy. Please let me know how you feel. I'm here for you. Do you understand what I just said? Okay. I'm glad. Now I'm going to ask a little bit more deeper and personal questions. Please don't feel offended in any way. If you do feel offended, let me know. Were you one of the witches that got executed here? in the 1600s. Okay. Well, that was a trip. The entire forest just went and like loud. All these years that you've been gone, do you still feel the pain from the trial, from the day that you were executed. Wow, okay. Again, I f I'm very sorry to hear what happened to you. It was unfair. It was messed up. You did not deserve any of that. Does anyone want to take credit? for turning off the device? It was me. What are the 13 of you planning on doing? Not your business. 
<laughs> Is there anything we can do or offer to make it part of our business? Yes. What would you like us to do? What are you looking for? Assistance here or not? What do you need assistance with? It is a prop. Is there an item here that makes you feel as though we're making a mockery? I hope that one day, whether that's today, tomorrow, in the future, your souls could be set free and you're no longer in pain, no longer in hate. You can live freely and happy. Would you like that? I hope that for you as well. Are there anything here that is holding you back from doing that? For being free? Okay. Pseudo. Pseudo. Pseudo, I don't know. Is it pseudo? Pseudo. Or pseudo. Pseudo. I don't think any of us know what that word is. Could you explain it to us in another way? It's from the head. Are you explaining something that you need from us? Or do you need assistance doing something? Yeah, no, yeah, Where's the mark? Where's the mark? Sorry to ask again, but could you tell us who you are? Or what you are? You know, there's 13 of you. You know, one of no. you. No. No. Do you know that you're not alive? Ancient wood. I will feel. But to go off of about not being happy um, about seeing the future. Could you imagine if your life was cut short and then you get to live as a spirit and 300, 500 years later see people living happy because of what happened? I mean, Evan's if I was right. If I was stuck here, I wouldn't be happy. Evan's right, yeah. I'd be, I'd be just as upset as you guys are, watching other people being happy and sure, find, find this empowering and whatnot, but still it doesn't change the fact that y'all were sacrificed, y'all were executed for something that you didn't do. And I'm, again, I'm truly, truly sorry for what happened to you. It's so unfair. Like, I can't even imagine the pain that you have to go through just watching your own family member throw you under the bus for something that you didn't even do. Like, it upsets me just talking about it. I can't imagine what was going through your head, you know? <laughs> and I'm so sorry that happened to you. Like, <laughs> getting backstabbed by someone that you love, that someone that you, you thought you could trust, especially your own, if it was your own kid.
Is this pain that I'm feeling right now is how you feel? I'm so sorry. <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> it hurts so much. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> I feel it. I understand. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I came here for. This is what I asked you to do was to share how you felt is to share how how your story went I don't know how I can help you for your soul but I know people that do know how they can help and how we can help Okay. We need to get into an agreement. God. <laughs> See ya. Is it? And which witch's grave is that? <laughs> We're willing to go. We'll see you. We're willing to go to the cemetery, but can you tell us what the agreement is going to be there? It's a long journey. Can you tell us why? Seven. Be there. There is someone. Is this someone in the woods? A not part of your group? The seven. Margaret Saul. Margaret Saul. 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 Who's Margaret? Isn't she as well? What are the odds in the cemetery? There's another grave under Margaret or Margaret Saul. Thank you so much for allowing me to feel how you feel, for allowing me to hear you. And I now understand why you chose me to be here. Thank you. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> that was fucking heavy. Oh, I want to go back and ask the witches to see if there's anything we could do or like like what is the procedure like you know what i mean <laughs> it won't change our mind but can you tell us this if we go to the cemetery and see the eye of god is the purpose for something positive or is it for something darker is it to help you bring joy or to strengthen your darkness Terror. Terror. It awaits. Hide. Anybody? Angry. Terror awaits. Hide and angry. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Let's fun. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm down. All right. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Dark and sinister. Oh, no, no one could have meant anything. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Resist him. Resist him. You have instructed us to go all the way to the church to see the eye of God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, thanks. Was it, was it accurate? Apparently yeah. the eye of God is one of the... Yeah, it's, it's, if, you search, if you search the eye of God, it'll take you to a new church. Why did I say eye of God? Mm -hmm. I said God. Mm -hmm. It's linked to a lot of God. things. Yeah. Right. Sense, yeah. Some weird voices coming through that. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of like demonic laughing. Eighty percent, maybe more, of what you said was like direct answer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The only one little you said Margaret something. Margaret saw. Margaret saw. Uh, that yeah, Ma Margaret. Margaret saw, Margaret saw, saw and there was someone called Sue. Okay. Yeah, those are the only two things that no one directly knew what that meant. But it could be at the same time. I wanted to know if there's any way we could help in terms of freeing them. They feel like they're stuck. They're in a lot of pain. Are you feeling well? You look drained. Tell there them what you. happened. Close your eyes. Can you feel it? Don't try, just allow. Can you feel it? Yes. Yeah. This is important. Do not try. Allow her to come closer to you. Just allow her to come closer. Okay. Can you feel that happen? It's okay. Can you feel that? You could come closer, it's okay. Don't try, just allow, just accept. The way you accept your friends, just accept. Accept that energy and welcome it. Do you feel like we're coming closer now? She's here. Yeah, that's fine. So as she comes closer to you, can you do free her? She's been judged for all of these years. Totally and utterly accept her. No one's ever accepted her before totally. She needed that pretty breath to fill up those lungs. And as you let that go, feel her energy become lighter and dimmer. Her energy is beginning to distance itself from you. Can you feel that now? With every breath out, feel her distance in soul. She's a beautiful spirit. How are you feeling now? You feeling better? Good. Could you feel it? Ah, she's got Wow. Yeah. But sometimes when um, when you actually feel the energy of a person who's died, and you feel the anger, when you go beneath that anger, there's always a reason for anger. You feel the ground beneath your feet now. Start moving your feet. Start moving. And feel it when you're moving your feet. Feel the ground. It. So you're just going to ground yourself again because you don't want to start walking straight away because it can. Come a bit dizzy. You all right? Thank you. Thank you. Is there a reason why you think this happens to him fairly often? Yeah, he's very open to spirit. He's very open to spirit. When I say everyone, every living person is capable of connecting with spirit. Everybody. It's not a gift that just a couple of people have, but some people are more open to it. Some people are more susceptible to it. Some people um, be believe a bit more. Uh, it's like it's like if you've got an interest in something, you'll be good at it. If you're passionate about something, you'll be good at it. And I don't need to ask him. You can feel it off him. Uh, you listen to him, you look at him. He's very, very passionate about connecting with energies especially energies of people that have passed away. He's, he's passionate about it, he's more susceptible. He's very, very open to spiritual energies. How beautiful as that moment was. 
You had yeah. so much snot. And, uh, <laughs> it was. Uh, <laughs> Blair you created us. a spider web. <laughs> Ew. So. That's beautiful. I'm gonna start putting tissue in your yeah, kit yeah. for now on. Yeah, yeah we'll some. It's okay. It's kind of gross. You gotta K2 and clean up. Oh. <laughs> K2 and clean up. Tomorrow, you can open up with ghost mask. <laughs> 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 no, just put a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you know, it's been a pleasure meeting you, son. Likewise. Thank you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice pleasure meeting you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. All right. Positive and fun. I love you. Oh yeah, I remember all this. That's the quarry, right? Yeah. That's right. Do you remember which is two moose? I don't remember which one, no. Oh, it's a good thing I do. Do you? <laughs> so the rumour is, she wasn't, buried, she wasn't meant to be buried here. She was hung at Lancaster Castle, and some of the villagers came, stole the body from Lancaster Castle, brought it here and buried her. Because she, she was considered a witch, she wasn't allowed to be buried in hollow ground. Do you want me to show you what I do? I've got a really good method with these. So, since I bought one, I spent hours, days, playing with it. And um, what I do is, I'll ask the questions first. And then, in utter silence, we press record. And there shouldn't be any noise. But I get the most craziest voices come through. Oh, interesting. So you, you ask all your questions, questions first. And yeah. Then, so oh. we've got no contamination. And there, shouldn't, there shouldn't be any audio file there, but... Let's do it's it. It's interesting. Alice, if you are here, uh, we mean no harm. You probably recognise me. I've been here a lot of times. Um, we come here in search of answers and communication. So if you are anywhere in this graveyard, please come forward, or anyone at all, and you can speak to us through this device. Alice, we're not sure if it was you or who it was, but someone requested that we come specifically to here. They said that they are moving among 13 other, we don't know what they are. Do you happen to have any idea who or what that is? Or are you a part of them? Is there anybody else here tonight who has a message that they want to give to us? <clears throat> is there anybody from another location who's been brought along with us? And all you need to do is speak right here. I'll put it right here on the grave. Can either of you with headphones hear that? Hear what? The singing? Even right now. You don't hear it right now? Point uh mic that way and see if you hear it. Sounds like a TV's on. I can hear that now. It's so faintly, it's like, I don't know if it's bouncing, but it sounds like it's coming from right inside November. the glass. Yes. There is a difference pointing this way. This is loud. This is quiet. It's so weird. It's like, it sounds like a TV song. Like, you can like almost, I can just very faintly hear the TV. You ready? Yeah. Quite the whole time. Yeah, why? The one thing I've noticed is that if you put it on something with too much energy, it just that's what it hears the whole time. I've never seen that before. Really? Yeah, we've had it happen when we put it on like certain tables or certain tombstones, things like that. When you put it on certain items, you just hear that the whole time. Right. What if you don't try it again? I'll try again. Yeah. No seen that before. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two.
quarter for like six seconds straight. Really? I went to go pick it up and I saw it just go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's like completely stopped in the middle. The that was that was I've one. I've never heard one do that. Yeah. 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 I've used this like over a thousand times. I actually cannot understand how I can do that. It almost sounds like something like really powerful was in there in the first five seconds. Yeah. And then something fought to like speak mm -hmm. normally and then it just takes back over yeah, again. It sounds like a static, like. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do a round of norm normal way and yeah, just see try. if like maybe we can get. Sure. Yeah. Three, two. Who is asking for help? Is Alice here? Is she here with us? Is someone or something stopping you from speaking to us? Is somebody here walking around the cemetery tonight? And can you tell us your name? I'm going to place this device down again. So you can say whatever it is that you'd like to. I always find it, uh, hear it better if you put it in slow motion. Yeah, so with that noise, it has a decrease in volume, mm -hmm. and if it was just like a static noise, it'd be a constant. Right. But it's a drop off on that on that volume mm -hmm. yeah, before gotta, you even end it. It's okay to figure out. Yeah, so many theories about it. Yeah, yeah. Like is it? Yeah, is it their attempt to like break through the mm -hmm. the sound barrier that we have between us, and that's what it sounds like? Is mm -hmm. it just energy without, you know, like a kid who can't, a baby cries and can't speak. Okay, we came. To the eye of God. I like, I like you, kiddo. <laughs> okay. We kept our promise. What was that? Hmm. You hear that too? Is it like a thumb? Like footsteps. Yeah. I, thought, I literally thought someone was about to walk up on us. Where is the mom? Who is it? What was that? Hmm. You hear that too? You wanted to bring terror? To who? To bring out of the back. You don't go around the back. I'm expecting you. Closest. Does that mean towards the quarry? Alice. 
If you're the one that wants to bring terror and hatred upon people, we can understand why. We can see your energy building. What are you hoping to accomplish tonight? Who do you want to bring terror upon? What year is it? It's 2024. Quite a while later. I believe them. Okay, we see you know how to use the flashlight. This might make things easier. If there's something you want to say yes to, can you flash the flashlight on? Hold it on for a yes. If it's a no, you can just turn the light off. He will. Do you know what it is exactly that you're hiding from? Immediate yes. Is it the man that you mentioned? The he? Is that who you're hiding from? No. It's a quick flash. The only place I know where evil is from experience is the quarry. Where they say they used to actually practice satanic and dark magic. Is that where you want us to go? Do you want us to go now? It's so early. It's still early. Seems your spirit is still trapped here. Are you alone? Is the only thing you know pain and misery now where you are? It got you. It's got you. Can you describe what's around you? I mean, it's totally... mm -hmm. How does it look? How does it feel? Black pond. Looks great. Looks great. How does it smell? Are there other souls there with you? Lots of people. There's lots of people. What year do you think it is since you asked us? I just said my name again. Do you know everyone that's here? Okay. What are their names? In true fashion. In true fashion. Tell us our names in true fashion. Do you think there's any way out for you? From this black pond? Yeah. Tell. Is there any hope? What do you say? I said no. This might... This may not have the answer. What do you want? If you are somewhere beyond hell, a black pond, lots of other souls, how are you able to communicate with us right now? 
get straight and like what what are you doing like are you visualizing this place here right now how are you able to connect with us if you know how maybe we can do the same thing and it could be even easier are you currently using your energy to think about and visualize this current place right now. Down in a hole. Down in a hole. So who is then? I'm all back down. What does that mean? Get down in a hole to me means Corey. See the special way of communicating us. Alice. Is it time to communicate with us? Give me a reason. The reason we want to communicate with you is that we traveled all the way here again for some of us. Hear me. To do exactly that. To hear you. Whatever it is that you want to say, you're feeling. Whether it's to share your story or that you want vengeance, it will end. Well, we don't want it to end yet. We want to continue communicating and continue with the quarry as well. Will you be there? Okay, yeah. Head over to the quarry and hope you do join us. Please do. Really? I think there's a light on the side. There's a what? A light on the side. That's why I thought yeah, it might be. Oh, open. yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe I really was hearing TV. <laughs> oh, two nights in a row we've walked through the multi century year old cemetery in the middle of the night. <laughs> warmers in my, my ghost jacket. I'm gonna start making heated ghost hunting jackets. It is weird being back here. Although the memory lane's coming back. I know. Yeah, it was like one of the first times I ever offered myself to the devil. Yeah. And it worked. And I haven't stopped since. <laughs> I got the hiccups. How am I gonna ghost hunt with the hiccups? Turn our speaker on. Uh, well, a speaker. Turn our speaker. I'm Turn our speaker on. Are you trying to play music right now? No, spirit talker. Oh, okay. Are you trying to turn up? Yeah, I don't know if people are here all that often anymore. Like, yeah, it's not for a nice little hike. Whoa, it's so weird to be back here. Dude, I'm literally trying to talk to satanic ritual practitioners, and I'm like, <laughs> anyone he here? I can feel. <laughs> This is the same one we had last time. Yeah. Remember, this didn't just go off. Yeah. Only one. We've been before. Oh my god, did you hear what it just said? Say <laughs> so you've been here before. Huh. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> ah. You should stop doing that. Ah, get it out of me. What? I will give you my soul to take away my pickups. <laughs> Three of us have been here before. My name is Jerry. I haven't been here, but heard a few things about this place. Hopefully, we get to experience 
some good. We tried that for like two hours, the whole like good thing, and then as soon as we went like anything dark here, it was like, yep, here we go. Just being honest with you, just trying to let you know. Don't want to let you down, set you up for failure. I was hoping. No. Nope. Uh. -uh. Well, this is Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh I'm Ginger. It's also my first time here with Jerry. And we're here to communicate with anything and anyone. Light or dark, positive or negative. Ancient spirit. Dude. Well, I've shown you before. Let's do it. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's do it. Oh, we got that on the uh SS method. SS method right now too. He just said that a few minutes ago. Yeah, wow, okay. At any point, if you want to answer a question directly, the most immediate confirmation so we do not waste any of your time or energy or anything like that or misunderstand stand you, is to simply, can you define what ancient means? To us, that is over thousands of years old. Are you demonic? Yes, I did. Demonic things, right? That's the only way to understand that? Did you do demonic things? Are you demonic? Problem. Problem. What's the problem? What was the story here with this area? There's a witch called Gandyke, and she used to come here and feed her familiar spirit, her dog. It would um, drink blood from her armpit. Oh, this was the place. That yeah, they call it sickle. Yeah, and she used to summon the devil here. It's funny, because right now I feel like there's next to nothing. Like as of right now, it just feels kind of like meh. Yeah. But instinct says, Start doing some tomfoolery and making some propositions, and that'll like wind things up. Is that what you need? A bit of e energy. Wealthy. Wealthy. That ball right behind you right now. This one off. Whoa. Do you need energy in a certain place? On one of these rocks higher up. It's been a while. I don't remember exactly where we figured out was the hot spot. Whoa. Yes. Yes. My name is John. John. Is there a certain place you want us to bring your energy to? If I shine this light on it, can you give us a sign? Brilliant. On it, Evan, directly. Like literally the exact second I hit his hood, it said brilliant. Do you remember Evan from when he was here before? I feel like whatever's here, it just it doesn't want to play nicety. It wants it wants like something that's gonna he's gonna gain from. Like, for example, when you offered your services last time. What did you offer? My soul. Oh. <laughs> wow. And then all the equipment went off. <laughs> uh. Sure. Why don't you offer your soul again? Can you confirm that's what you need? An offer of someone's soul? You want to make a deal? You got to press one of these. Let us know. Sign away my soul for ten million pounds. 
hellhounds will come and get me in ten years. <laughs> Money. Money. Oh, oh wow, that's oh, crazy. Stop. Shit. That is crazy. <laughs> Joking about 10 million pounds and it said money. 10 million pounds? Dan's got it. I think he wants to offer us money. For the oh. soul. Oh, for the soul. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Locked. Lock it in. Oh. <laughs> Locked it. Uh, I would do it. My soul for 10 million pounds? What? It's like 13 million US. It's a, it's a good economy right now. Elton said he would do it. Show me the money. Show me the money. Why should just be like, lift up the second rock. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just 13,000 or 13 million US dollars here. Is that an actual offer? The children are heard. Children are heard. Did they ever mention the children? I mean, they were sacrificed because, yeah. The children being heard is exactly why they all died. But then again, are they referring if, if it's a devil, the devil sees himself as a god, therefore we are his children. Yeah. You are referring to us as your children, implying you're the devil, and you ought to be able to prove it. <laughs> really? Yeah. You just shut off. You have to do more than that. Shutting off a device doesn't prove it. Showing us that you're here does. Surely you can walk in front of that device uh, and it'll let us know. It'll make a noise. If you're the devil, you can do that. My family is here. Bring them on out. We have devices on us. There's the music box right there, right here. Again, all you have to do. I'm gonna double my price to 26 million US dollars. Cashier's check only. Or do you have anything else to trade? The rumors are false. The rumors are false. Mm. Who is it that is here then? Because the rumor is that satanic rituals were practiced here. Summonings, spells, done so by you witches. Can trust us. Okay, we'll trust you, sure. We need to know answers in order to have trust in that. So who was here? Were, was it just women dabbling in a creative art? No negative purpose behind it? Was it an accident? Did you not actually think what you were doing would work until it did? Why did you bring us here? Yeah, actually, yeah, that's... You're the one that told us to come here. To be fair, it asked us to go to the Eye of God, which is a cemetery. And we wanted to come back to the quarry. And then we asked Alice to come here with us. We wanted to come back here because we had been here years ago. You want us to leave? You're not happy as being here? It seems different. Yeah. Peaceful. Yeah. Also, last time we were here, it was like pretty easy to get in and out. You could tell other people had been here. Yeah. It feels just like peaceful right now. We were also here doing a full moon. Yeah. Many deaths. Many deaths. Just so different. Even just like the way the questions went that night. Like, we came here with no expectation of anything. Mm. And then I think also like the offer that was made was like authentic yeah. that night. Like here we're like, oh yeah, give us money yeah. for a soul. But that night it was like, no, if you talk to us for sure, like mm -hmm. it's, it's a real, 
You know what I mean? It was a genuine, like, we're here. We probably seem naive enough to, like, authentically, genuinely offer that. Yeah. And we got the interaction versus tonight, like, we came here under the expectation of getting something. Mm. So there's, like, a different chemistry, like, interaction that's happening between, like, us as living and, like, spiritual here. Mm. That, like, tonight there's, I feel like as though there's no, no chemical reaction. No, I agree. All right, so let's just give it one one good go on the Panasonic. Yeah. And see. I strongly believe that there is something malevolent and sinister at this location. Are you purposefully not answering us to irritate us? Is that the trick you are playing on us? What do you want from us? What do you want? from us to show so that you can let us know you're actually here. Is it possible that this demonic energy is dormant and there's something we need to do to wake it up? Is any of the witches from Pendle Hill here? If the devil isn't. Are you upset that Elton's back still with his soul intact? There's something that you're hiding for us, from us, or a reason that you're not wanting to speak. This is your last chance to tell us a message before we have to go. Earlier it said he will play a trick on you. Is that a warning about me? That I might offer something that I won't actually give? I don't think anything is on this. That's crazy, clean, clean. dude. Clean as hell. Compared to the last one, wow. wow. So one, yeah, it means like whatever's here, residual little bits of energy. It's how we're getting answers. Not even Alice. But nothing over here at all. But it validates how crazy it is what we got at the churchyard. Oh, 100%. Graveyard. But then again, maybe those witches put on protection for us. Mm. You know what? We didn't even ask them to remove it. Exactly. That's a good point. We didn't ask him to remove anything, and here we are. Wow. The most negative place that we can think of. I you didn't even think about that at all. Scared. You're right. We, yeah, we got completely right. protected. Sage, salt, yeah. everything. We even said, um, we, the first thing we did tonight was to say, can you protect us? Yep. And we've had absolutely nothing. Stopping your foot. Yes. <laughs> yes, because I didn't think about that, and I normally step out for those types of things. You yeah, know who didn't get protected? All right, fuck the cameras. You guys ask the devil. <laughs> <laughs> do we? Do I eat dirt? You can try. I'm, I'm pretty sure that does it. Okay, Doesn't hurt. Find a slug or two. Yum. <laughs> dude, I thought it happened. Dude, that got me too long. I was like, no way that worked. I yeah, thought it so happened. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I totally thought it worked, dude. I was so pumped. I was about to be like, all right, here we go. <laughs> and that's why she's your wife. <laughs> oh, 